Good evening, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with John. I'm John, and this is my cooking show. Tonight, I thought I'd switch gears a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and actually make a full dinner. One of Nikki and I's favorite food to eat is chicken. So tonight, I'm going to show you guys how to make a whole chicken in the oven, as well as spaghetti squash, which is really, really just a nutritious side vegetable dish to have with your dinner. Both these are going to take a little bit of time in the oven to cook, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to get started. This dinner will take about an hour in total time to cook, but let me tell you what, it is absolutely delicious and relatively simple. Sometimes when you buy a whole chicken, it'll actually come stuffed uh, with, I think this is like the neck or something, I'm not quite sure, but you want to make sure that you take this out before you cook the chicken in the oven. A couple things that you're gonna need for this recipe is olive oil. I like to use a whole lemon, we'll insert that into the chicken. Garlic powder, oregano, and salt and pepper. Okay, first things first is we're gonna take olive oil and we're gonna pour it on the chicken, nice generous helping, and we're gonna rub that all over the chicken we're gonna make sure that we get the chicken completely covered with olive oil. This is gonna allow us to place the chicken in the oven at 425 degrees for 20 minutes and it's really gonna crisp up that skin. And let me tell you what, there's nothing better than crisp chicken skin. And with this recipe, we're constantly gonna be washing our hands because we're dealing with the chicken and you don't wanna get raw chicken all over your olive oil bottle or your salt and pepper shaker or anything like that. So we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil inside the chicken too. This will help kinda of just moisten the chicken on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and dump a generous amount of salt inside the chicken, as well as a generous amount of pepper, a generous amount of garlic powder, and just a little bit of oregano. And it's important to mention that I've already preheated the oven to 425 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and take my lemon that I've cut into four wedges, and I'm gonna put that inside the chicken as well. That is really gonna keep the meat moist, and it's gonna give it just a nice lemon zing when it's done cooking. The next step is to season the outside of the chicken. You can use any seasoning that you really want to on the chicken. I'm gonna do everything that I put inside, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and just a little bit of oregano. And we wanna flip our chicken over. Again, I've used this hand to flip the chicken, and I'm gonna use this hand for the salt and pepper shaker and the garlic powder and the oregano and the salt. And our bird is ready to go in the oven. Alrighty, so I have transferred the chicken into a metal skillet uh, with a metal handle that is oven safe. And I'm gonna go ahead and dump just a little bit of more olive oil on it. Get a nice good thick coat on there. And then there's also gonna be olive oil cooking in the pan beneath the chicken. So our oven is preheated to 425 degrees. We're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna put it in the oven at 425 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes just to crisp up that skin. We wanna put the chicken breast down in the pan and then we'll go ahead and reduce the heat at 350 degrees, cook it for another 45 minutes, take it out, cover it in foil, and then cook it for an additional 15 minutes until the internal temperature of the chicken is 160 degrees. So it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead, take this bad boy out, and as you can see, we got a nice golden brown. Uh oh. And as you can see, the top of the chicken, the skin there, is a nice golden brown. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven. I've got two ovens here, which is actually really convenient. I'll put it in the lower oven, which I have the temperature set for 375 degrees. I'm gonna leave it in there for 45 minutes. I'll take it out, wrap it in tin foil. Put it back in for another 15 minutes and when the internal temperature hits 106 degrees i'll take it out i'm also going to be starting the spaghetti squash pretty quick here that only takes about 45 minutes at 375 degrees in the oven so that's the next step and i'll show you guys how i do that okay so to make a spaghetti squash also relatively simple we're going to take our knife and we're going to cut the squash in half just like so and the next step is going to be to scoop out all the seeds and uh, inner whatever this stuff is. Just take a spoon and scoop it right out. Kind of reminds me of carving a pumpkin. We're going to take just a little bit of olive oil and we're going to dump it inside the squash. 
And then we're just going to kind of rub that around. We want to cover the entire surface of the squash, including the part that we sliced. And then we're going to take some of our same seasonings. We have a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And Nikki likes it spicy, so we're going to put a, a generous helping of cayenne pepper on her half, but not my half. I'll just do a tiny little bit. All right, and then we take the spaghetti squash, we flip it over on a baking sheet like so. This is going to go in the oven for 45 minutes at 375 degrees. And when it's done, we'll be able to take a fork and stick it through the squash skin. Okay, so the chicken's been in for 15 minutes. It's got another 30 to go without the foil on and then 15 more minutes to go with the foil on. So I'm going to take my squash in, put it in the upper oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes and it'll come out nice and tender. And let me tell you what, spaghetti squash is so good. So our chicken has been in the oven for 30 minutes at 375 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and cover it in foil, put it back in for another 15. So I have it wrapped in tin foil. Now it goes back in the oven for an additional 15 minutes and then we'll check the temperature with our meat thermometer. Look at that. Mm. Our spaghetti squash is done. As you can see, we can poke a hole right through the outer skin there with a fork and that means it's done. And our chicken just came out of the oven 15 minutes with the foil on. Stuck the temperature in, we're at 170 degrees in part of the thickest part of the chicken. It's time to carve the chicken up, serve a little squash, and enjoy dinner. Okay, so we can basically just start by cutting the chicken in half. And Nikki is a dark meat person. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a little taste. That is absolutely delicious. And we'll just pull a little piece of skin off there too, give that a taste. Mm, mm, that is so good. And to get the meat and the thigh off together, I like to come underneath the thigh, go ahead with your knife, and you'll get a nice solid quarter cut of the leg and the thigh. Again, hold the chicken leg here, come up underneath, just go ahead, slice right through that bone. And that's how you serve the dark meat. And to serve the breast, you flip the chicken over, start at the middle, and cut diagonally down towards the side of the chicken, just like this. And as you can see, most of that breast will just pull right away from the body of the chicken. And you can just pull it away. One more cut right there, and you have a beautiful juicy, moist, delicious chicken breast. And here we have a quarter chicken with a spaghetti, half of spaghetti squash. And let me tell you what, this is so good. If you're wondering why they call this sp spaghetti squash, if you pull the insides out, you'll notice that it's very similar looking to spaghetti. This meal is so easy to make. It takes a little bit of time to actually cook it, make it, preparation. But once it's finished, it is so worth it. That squash is so good. And I have a, one of the chicken wings here. Mmm, so good. The spices are perfect. It is so juicy. And let me tell you what, I hope you guys make this recipe. Nikki is checking on Iris right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for her to really dig into this meal. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cooking with John. Tonight we did a whole chicken along with spaghetti squash. Total cook time, one hour with a little bit of prep work. And oh man, I'm just so happy I have this for dinner tonight. As always guys, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. Please hit the little thumbs up button down there. Subscribe, share this video, tell your friends about my channel. It really does help and it means a lot. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next week with more cooking from me, John.